I'd like to call this meeting of the Muffleshell City Board of Education to order. Thank you, Mr. Wood. I present the uh, tonight's agenda for the board to consider. Thank you. The uh, superintendent has presented us with a agenda for the meeting tonight. Do I have a motion to approve that? Mr. President, I make a motion we approve the agenda as presented. Thank you. We have a motion to approve the agenda. Do I have a second? Second. And a second. Do we have any discussion? No discussion, so let's take a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? And there's none, so the agenda has been approved. All right. Thank you, sir. I have no correspondence to communicate tonight, but we are extremely excited and honored to have with us uh, in this room tonight all of our teachers of the year from across the district in the Muscle Shoals City Schools. And on behalf of the board, we congratulate you. It's uh, quite an honor to be uh, nominated by your peers. And, and each one of these folks has been chosen by their peers in their building as the teacher of the year. And uh, they've all submitted applications and that sort of thing uh, to, to be our school system's nominee for the state teacher of the year program. And we'll get to that in just a little bit. But we just want to highlight each one of these folks. And so we've put together a little video that uh, that introduces each one of them. And and I've asked each of them to share just a little word of wisdom, just something that, you know, if, if they uh, had to give a new teacher some advice or just pass on a word of wisdom, what would you say? And each one of them uh, gave me something, and so we're going to share that with the audience tonight. So, Mr. Stevenson, if you would, let's honor our Teachers of the Year. The Howe Gray's Preschool Teacher of the Year is LaDedra McCauley. She teaches kindergarten at Howe Graves, and this is her second year, and she has 14 total years of experience. Cause you're a sky, cause you're a sky full of stars. She says every child is capable of learning, and you have to meet them where they are. Also, our profession is not just about teaching academically, it's also about building relationships with your students. Cause you're a sky full of stars. LaDedra McCauley. The Highland Park Teacher of the Year is second grade teacher Ashley Moore. This is her 10th year at Highland Park and she has 13 years of experience. She says always take it one day at a time. Remember the things in life that are most important and do everything you can to keep those as your number one priority every day. Find someone you can talk to who can provide support and encouragement for you on those days when you need it most. Ashley Moore. The Webster Elementary Teacher of the Year is Katie Chandler. She teaches second grade. This is her fifth year at Webster and she has 18 total years of experience. Mrs. Chandler says, always remember your why. If we get up each morning and remember why we have been called, the relationships we build with our students and the difference we make each day in their lives, our why is confirmed and we can persevere regardless of what comes. Katie Chandler. The McBride Teacher of the Year is gifted teacher Catherine Osteen. This is her 22nd year at McBride and she has 36 years of experience. Ms. Osteen says, like any profession, a true desire and passion for teaching and working with children is a must. Just like the students, you are constantly learning, so it's important to be flexible and open to change. Last but not least, be prepared for a lot of hard work that will reap rewards in the end. Catherine Osteen. Muscle Shoals Middle School Teacher of the Year is math teacher Mary Frances Wright. This is her 11th year at the middle school and she has 20 years of experience. She says it is a goal of mine to help students prepare for classes at the high school by holding them to a high standard. When a student accepts the challenge, works hard, and then improves, those moments provide encouragement and gratification to continue to press on as I work with students on their journey to success. Mary Frances Rye. The Muscle Shoals Career Academy Teacher of the Year is Cosmetology Teacher Kim Tidwell. 
This is her 18th year at the Career Academy and she has 21 years of experience. She says the students are the reason I love to teach. Being able to help a student's self-esteem and inspiring them to do their best, teaching a real life skill allows the students to see how it all comes together in everyday life. Kim Tidwell. The Muscle Shoals High School Teacher of the Year is Ms. Tamara Counts. She teaches math at the high school and this is her 24th year there. She has 25 years of experience. Mrs. Count says, what I love the most about teaching are those aha moments, when students understand what they are learning and are excited about learning more. Tamara Counts. Congratulations to all teachers of the year in the Muscle Shoals City Schools. Good quality teaching. I, I had the, the privilege to go to those classrooms and do some of that filming, and so I got to see a lot of good instruction going on. So, just congratulations to each one of you. As I said earlier, each of them submitted an application to to be our district elementary or secondary teacher of the year, and uh, typically that person is announced tonight. But because of the timeline, we had to let them know ahead of time because these applications I think are due in a couple of days, right? So. Uh, the, the folks who are our elementary and secondary nominees already know it, but we do have another plaque and we'd like for their principals to come and join them. And I think Dr. Woods is going to snap a picture of them. So we'll start with our elementary teacher of the year. And if Ms. Catherine Osteen and Dr. Schneider, if you would come forward, I will let you, Dr. Schneider, do the presentation and then uh, Dr. Woods will take a picture of you guys. Would you like them to stand? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll get out of the picture. How about that? All right. Congratulations. And then, if Miss Counts and Dr. Davis, our secondary teacher of the year is Miss Tamara Counts. <laughs> All right. Yeah, thank you so much, and, and we just appreciate all your hard work and the impact that you're having on the lives of our students each and every day. Uh, it says a lot when your peers choose you to be their nominee for Teacher of the Year. So thank you so much. Y'all are welcome to stay for the rest of our board meeting, but I also want to give you the option to ease out if you want to, but it's completely up to you whether you stay or not. It's a lot of exciting things that are not going to happen in this board meeting. So <laughs> continuing on with our uh, board meeting, the next item on the agenda is a video presentation from Howell Gray's Preschool. That is our school spotlight this month. And so, Mr. Stevenson, if you would.
Okay, put your car at the start line. We're gonna go very slow. Yeah. Ja. yeah. Your sight word is four. 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 How many blanks do you need for four? Two. Two. Right. Four. Oh, Lucy's already got it with the heart and everything. Four. job miss smith that, that's awesome if you're ever having a bad day you can just go visit hal graves right and it, it'll cheer you right up that's for sure thank you so much all right moving right along to our business action items tonight uh, for the consent agenda resolution the board has been furnished with background material on each item or has discussed the item in a previous meeting consent agenda items will be acted upon with one vote without discussion if a board member wants to discuss any item it will be pulled from the consent agenda and voted on separately tonight under the consent agenda we have the minutes from the December 16th and 28th, as well as the January 5th and 10th meetings. Uh, the 16th was a regular meeting, the rest were special call. We have the bills and accounts for December, as well as the financial reports, and those have been reconciled. Uh, the 22-23 school calendar, the 22-23 holiday calendar, as well as our code of conduct and student handbooks and parent handbooks for the upcoming school year as we approach the re-enrollment are also here for your approval and then a revision to the diploma requirements. Does any board member wish to pull anything from the consent agenda and vote on it separately? All right, hearing none, Mr. President, I recommend approval of the consent agenda as presented. Thank you. We have a recommendation from the superintendent to approve the consent agenda. Do I have a motion for that? Mr. President, I make a motion that you approve the consent agenda as presented. Thank you. So we have a motion, we have a second. 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 Any discussion? No discussion, so we'll take a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? And there's none, so the consent agenda has been approved. All right. Uh, now recommend item B, the personnel report as presented. We have a recommendation to approve the personnel report from the superintendent. Do I have or can I have a motion to approve that? Mr. President, I make a motion to approve the personnel mm -hmm. report as presented. Thank you. So we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? No discussion. So we'll take a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? And none. So the personnel report has been approved. All right. For the benefit of the audience, the personnel report consists of the following. Under resignation, Susan Sherrill, Family and Consumer Science teacher at Muscle Shoals Career Academy, and that's effective May 26th. Jerry Roush, system-wide custodian, assigned to Muscle Shoals High School, effective January 31st. Uh, under Roman numeral two, termination, Ricky Cole, system-wide custodian, assigned to Muscle Shoals Middle School, effective January the 25th. And then Roman numeral three, under other special appointments or supplemental assignments, uh, the first one is a correction, just a clerical error from a previous uh, personnel report changing high school to middle school. You see that on your report. 
Under number two, community education extended day program, Misty Reed, Natalia Brooke Hollingsworth, both being employed by our community ed program. Number three, OSAT scoring, Ms. Osteen, as we've done in the past. And then number four, supplemental coaching assignment, Henry Weeks, he'll be helping with our soccer program this year. And this is for information only, not for board action. Uh, Kelly Staffing, Kendra Quarter, a paraprofessional, will no longer be with us after the Christmas break. And then Anna Grace Humphreys is filling a math leave at Muscle Shoals Middle School. All right, and then moving right along to our superintendent's report. Uh, we are glad to, uh, we're glad to welcome our students and staff back today after being virtual last week. Welcome them back for in-person learning. As I mentioned to you during the, the work session, our absentee was just under 12%. That's a little high for a normal day, but uh, we did expect student absenteeism to be a little higher with, with pandemic considerations, but also it's flu season. So hopefully that'll get better uh, in the coming weeks. Our staff absenteeism was actually much better today. You know, as I mentioned, had we have been in person last week, we would have had more than 60 employees out and, and that's just not sustainable. But uh, this today, we had about 13 staff members that were out for COVID related reasons. And again, hopefully that'll get better as the, as the days go forward. I uh, just wanna brag on the Education Foundation a little bit. Um, Ms. Sasser, the executive director, sent some information to me that I just wanna share with the board. Last year, 2021, the Education Foundation invested more than $90,000 into our schools and our classrooms. It's the biggest amount that they've been able to invest. Uh, and, you know, we just certainly appreciate all the stakeholders, some are employees, some are community members and that sort of thing who do contribute to the foundation. And especially if you're a monthly donor and that sort of thing, it just really helps. And uh, that, that, that foundation just continues to grow and do great things. And, and they really help us in a lot of ways. So I appreciate them. I want to congratulate Tiffany Stonecipher. She's a teacher at the Career Academy. She has received her national board certification. So I want to start trying to do that recognition every year, maybe this time, because I think they just recently found out. We had a couple that renewed. I know Deidre Brewer renewed and, and Deirdre Nelson renewed theirs. There may be others, and if there are, I'll make sure to recognize them at a future meeting. But I think Ms. Stonecipher is the only newly certified national board teacher. So if I'm wrong about that, I'll recognize somebody else at the next one. Uh, just a few student uh, commendations. Heather Medlin was a finalist for the Coral Music Educators Award at the Alabama Music Educators Conference this past weekend. So I appreciate her and congratulate her. Also, Lily Goodwin represented the high school as one of 25 girls and one of 50 students in Alabama at the Allstate Choir performance. So that was very good for her to do that. And then Tate Pierce uh, has advanced as the regional nominee in the Bright Jordan uh, Scholarship Competition for Region 7, Area 14. So if Tate continues to advance, I'll continue to let you guys know that. So we're, we're proud of him and all these students. And with that, Mr. President, that's all I have. All right. Uh, is there any other business that a board member would like to bring forward tonight? If not, then we have concluded our agenda for the evening, and uh, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you, sir.